Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. I just got off work, so I'm feeling quite a bit energetic at the moment, and I just wanted to go ahead and do a check-in. It is Wednesday after all. That means it's hump day. Well, it's hump day for you guys. It's actually Tuesday for me. Um, I don't really have a plan for this episode of rambliness. Uh, I think I'm going to go back through the comments on the one I did last week, which was uh, why are all first-person shooters alike but not real-time strategy games, because I think you guys made a lot of interesting points. There's a couple that I would like to talk about for at least just a few minutes, and then maybe a little bit of loopiness about life in general. Speaking of life, I now hate rain with a passion. I like thunderstorms. I like falling asleep to rain, but when you get three inches of rain in like a nine-hour period Everything floods and life comes to a screeching halt. Like I went out this morning because I was thinking, hey, I can get some work done. For those of you who don't know, I work construction, which means that when rain happens, you pretty much get completely and totally screwed over. Um, so we're going to be working in a crawl space. I figure, hey, it's going to be dry. If it does start raining, we got a covered area to work. I go over to the crawl space. I stick my head under there and there's like six inches of water under the house. And I did not feel like going snorkeling. So I had to go find something else to do. But yeah, it's turned into a major, major annoyance. I think that we should probably build a pipeline to California and start shipping some of our water over there because our lakes are full, our ditches are full, and some people's houses are full. But it will be okay, I think. Maybe it won't rain so much that it just ends up being a catastrophe like it was a few weeks ago. Anyway, all that aside, YouTube stuff. We topped... 2,900 people. It is almost to the 3,000 mark, and I am so ridiculously psyched about that. I don't know why. Like, there's no particular reason to be excited about that number. Just the rounded up three makes it seem huge, and I, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see what happens <laughs> from here on out. The uh, Apparently, Windows 10 has decided to throw every wrench in the works that it possibly can as far as the channel goes, because, I mean... Windows 8 upgrade was kind of bad, but not completely terrible. And then 8.1 is actually a really amazing operating system, incredibly stable, does everything I could ever possibly ask of it. And uh, then I took the Windows 10 upgrade and you start having driver issues. You start having compatibility issues. I can't get dual screen to work no matter what compatibility settings I'm running. Um, I can't use my overclock during large supreme commander games but because for some reason the drivers crash in the middle of games and it doesn't happen when my cpu is not overclocked but this overclock was i'm actually downclocked from my maximum i had a stable 5.0 and i was running 4.7 and i was still having some crashes here and there after i upgraded to windows 10 so i don't know if it's something with the operating system or what, but it's not pretty. Maybe I'll get it all sorted, who knows. Even YouTube streaming is getting on my nerves recently because it's been corrupting some of my stuff as it transfers, but I think that may actually be my fault partially because uh, I was changing OBS settings in the middle of the streams and I think that glitched up the processing because the last stream I did, I made very, very care, I, I was very careful not to adjust anything during the stream itself and everything uploaded fine so hopefully i can do that in the future and nothing will happen yeah and with the uh, life stuff i finally got enough of a beard where it's not itchy anymore i'm gonna keep it around it's also fun to sit there and stroke it when i'm thinking i don't know if that actually makes you seem more intelligent or not but it feels nice it, it, it gives you something for your uh, hands to do when you don't otherwise have a means to occupy them. Okay, so about this whole first-person shooters versus RTS thing. Um, there was a couple of people that brought up the point, and it was somewhat of a thread running through here. Basically, the idea that RTSs are no longer viable from a money standpoint because a modern engine to cater to multi-threaded CPUs for a simulation as complex as one required by a large-scale RTS is not viable. It's way too difficult to build. There would not be a big enough market to sell to in order to generate the money to recoup that production cost. And then you still aren't even counting the fact that you have to get graphics in there. You have to do all this other crap. So I, I tend to think... That is probably an accurate assessment, but that's one of the interesting things about Ashes of the Singularity. 
because the nitrous engine that Ashes is running on is an in-house engine for Oxide Gaming. Yes, I think that's it. Yeah, um, it's an in-house engine that is currently being used in the development of three games. So they're going to recoup the investment into the engine over the course of many, many games from here on out. I don't know if they're planning to license it like Unreal and uh, CryEngine are. I really hope they do because the engine is phenomenal for RTS and large-scale games. It just is the way the engine works. Um, but I don't know that they're going to do that. But they are going to be building multiple games on that platform, which I think is the solution to that money problem. Now, granted, if they weren't making huge profits, um, they could probably build an RT engine, RTS engine and break even for a single game. But if there's not profit in it, no one is going to do it. So that's the trade-off. Um, as far as the nitrous engine itself goes, there's been a couple of people that pointed out, and I tend to agree with them, that it almost seems like Ashes of the Singularity is an afterthought to the engine. Like, they made the engine, they needed something to show off what the engine could do, and so they made Ashes of the Singularity. Because Ashes, the, the capabilities of the engine behind the game far far outshine the qualities of the game itself. I mean, you've got crappy gameplay. It's incredibly slow paced. It's not very fun. The, um, the units act weirdly. You can go on and on and on and on about this game. The list, the, the UI is bad. Um, but as a testing model, if you're only considering the game behind it, what they have accomplished inside that engine is really, really amazing. Maybe the game will shape up, maybe it won't. But hopefully after all of the dust settles, maybe, cross your fingers, maybe we'll have another engine to add to the list with Unreal, Unity, CryEngine, and there's a fourth one, I can't remember what the name of it is. Um, maybe we'll have Nitros to add to that list of game engines, and we'll actually have a custom game engine specifically designed for large-scale projects. And I cannot even describe how excited that makes me. Like, if that actually happens, I will be the first one to sign up, even if there is a subscription fee to get access to this engine. And I will be teaching myself how to use it because I want to tinker with that. So anyway, that that's pretty much the summary of that whole thing. There was also several people who were commenting on... Um, Starcraft versus Supreme Commander because there's a lot it, they're pretty much as different as you can possibly be in the RTS spectrum even considering the fact that both of them are sci-fi like way 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 out into the into undetermined future um because Starcraft is micromanaged combat on a small scale where every tiny little movement makes the difference between winning and losing and Supreme Commander is this huge, sprawling mess of an economy <clears throat> and map mani manipulation where you basically win by attrition. And while small, micromanaged battles can affect the overall tendency uh, or, or where the game is headed, they don't necessarily decide the game. So it's two totally different theaters of war. And... It's not really easy to compare the two because they don't share even many UI elements. I mean, they don't they don't share much at all. So it, it's it's interesting. I had a good time reading all those comments. They, this is probably the longest comment section I've had on any video, not for the number of comments, but I mean, I have one comment here that is like seven paragraphs long. Yeah, someone basically typed up an essay, which granted is really interesting to read, but is way too long to tackle here. The only one I would address is uh, industrialized meditation. Uh, while I agree with you about these feet, while I agree with you that these features make Subcom a great game, referring to full strategic zoom, epic scale, all this other stuff, I get the feeling that you've almost blown the Subcom games out in a whole genre that doesn't actually exist 
Perhaps Supcom is the fringe experimental game that never gets a genre. Um, and that goes on about how all these different genres have different elements of Supcom in them, but Supcom is the only one that contains all of the elements put together, and uh, it, it's basically a whole package for streamlined warfare, um, automated building and economy and all that kind of stuff and just focusing on large-scale pretty battles and i think there is a certain it's accurate to a certain point but there is a dedicated community that really enjoys that type of game um, and even slower paced games than supreme commander go look at sins of a solar empire i mean there's a pretty big following for those games there's not a big online presence but people who like to play versus the ai who like to play building games who enjoy just managing this massive force of war expanding through the galaxy or through the world or through the map whatever it may be depending on the game um, i think there is a market there but Today's gaming market is geared towards online purchases, online play, interaction to the max, and that type of game gets looked over. Granted, if if Supreme Commander were re-released, it's probably not going to be a blockbuster moneymaker, but I think it would have a very, very solid player base and more than enough people that were dedicated to it to actually maintain a gaming community. You can look at Planetary Annihilation for an example of that. I mean, the game completely sucks. Um, maybe not the Titans iteration. From what I hear, Planetary Annihilation Titans is an okay game. But it did get a lot of people playing it. And there's there's quite a substantial user base even right now. So, you know, it. I, I don't have all the answers for it. I think... Most of the opinions expressed in these comments are valid. I'm going to leave it up to y'all to read all the comments on that video. But it, it's interesting to think about, and a lot of it is just speculation. Anywho, that is all I've got to say about that one. For the upcoming weeks, I'm planning on pretty much sticking to my regular schedule. The one thing that I would love to know, uh, if you go to Twitter... Um, I am trying to use Twitter more because it is an awesome tool for consolidating comments. Like all of my videos get posted to Twitter. Um, anytime I have questions, if I have comments about things, um, I'm not a super regular poster, but it's nice to be able to connect to people. But I am going to be putting a poll up to accompany this video on would you guys like to see streaming in a variety of games? Because I would actually be interested in tackling the whole streaming thing. It was It's a good time playing games when you guys are connected. I can see your comments. Uh, obviously, in Supreme Commander, I don't have a whole lot of opportunity to read the comments, but I'm going to try to get better about that, whether I can get like a smaller screen to put right next to my uh, gaming monitor, because then I don't you know, have the whole separation um, of the comments. But I'm going to try to be more... Um, more attached to that but i'd like to know if you guys are interested at all in that or if it's just going to be an endless stream of content that nobody's going to be interested in because i don't want to put out so much stuff that you guys get burned out completely but i don't know it's something i enjoy doing and i like sharing it so hit me up on twitter let me know what you think there's going to be a straw poll over there Alrighty, guys i think that's going to be it i have rambled on long enough about a variety of different things and i think that is just going to be all for today enjoy the rest of your hump day hopefully you have an awesome night and i will see you guys tomorrow for a cast as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you over there